I know I've already asked for prayers, but I'm really nervous. So tiny update. Uh, finally, uh, the owner of this place got back to the property manager. And apparently, because we've been waiting this whole time for answers, we've been asking, um, can we stay if maybe the owner would let us stay and he could up the rent, we would be willing to do that. The other questions were, how much is he selling it for and do we get first dibs on it? So those are the questions we've been waiting to hear back about since I told you guys what's going down. Um, and so finally, he hasn't been able to get hold of the owner this entire time. But finally today, he's like, okay, I finally got a hold of him. And tomorrow, which is today, we're having a meeting about it and I'll let you know. So today is the day that we find out what our fate is. <laughs> I'm trying to make a joke because <sighs> I'm scared and I'm nervous. Um, anyway, I just want to update you. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I guess just... I will say thank you so much for the love and prayers and thank you for validating my pain even though there are so many more horrible things going on in the world. Like mine is nothing compared to what's going on in the world right now. But my pain is still valid just as is yours. Just because somebody has it worse, it doesn't mean your own pain isn't valid. So I really appreciate those of you that understand that and that I'm not trying to say that, like, feel sorry for me. Like, I'm in the worst situation possible. Like, I realize that I'm very, very blessed. It's just this is my home. And this is, it's, it's, especially for somebody with borderline personality disorder. If you have that, you know how it feels to have a sudden change dropped on you, especially a huge life change like that. So, um, but we have been praying every day we went back to church on sunday and we're trying to show our faith and and um communicate with god more and um my family has been amazing my mom has gone above and beyond trying to help in any way she can my siblings have been amazing and you guys have been incredible my best friends have been my saving grace and Danny and I have gotten closer through this because every day it's like it's like we appreciate our house in a different way now now that we know we're probably gonna lose it it's like all of a sudden we're like oh my gosh look at this beautiful house that we live in and all the memories we have here so it's like bittersweet and I just keep hoping and praying that somehow we can stay but if not then then I'll have faith that it will still be okay it's just a lot for me right now and Danny is so so stressed because like I said I think in the last video he's working we have to be out by April 30th if they're not gonna let us stay and he's working every day 12 hours a day with Netflix until April 30th. And then May 1st through 7th, we'll be in California. So I don't even know how it's going to work if they make us leave. Like, got a husband that's gone 12 hours a day and, and me who's disabled. So it's going to be quite a pickle if we do have to get out. Um, just for many reasons, we would love to just stay here. It would be a lot easier. But I'm also trying to humble myself and realize that you don't always get what you want and that I I do believe everything will be okay if I decide that it will and I've and I'm deciding that it will even though it's going to be hard as fa if we have to leave for so many reasons and I'm sure I'll break down and make a video sobbing about it but for now we won't know anything until later today so there's nothing I can do so I just wanted to give you a quick update. I guess there's nothing to update other than we know that we're going to know today. So the next video you'll see will be me telling you what the outcome is and what we're going to do. And if we have to move, then 
you guys get to come with us and this is your house too this is the house you see me in every day and and i think that's why it feels so much like a home as well because obviously the love that danny and i share is insanely incredible but also you guys like you you guys are a part of this home like i literally decorate this home for you guys you know for YouTube backgrounds and I don't know just everything it's like you guys are just tied into this too and it's a scary thought that we might lose it so but yeah anyway so one more time I'll ask for prayers well wishes good thoughts whatever you do if you don't pray that's totally fine um just that we can stay but if not then pray that I don't have a complete mental breakdown and melt down and want to die so okay so i'll let you know next time you see me you will know and we will know what our options are <sighs> okay i love you guys you're beautiful and you're worth it and i am too thank you for your love and support i love you guys so much i'll see you later bye